Hi, I'm Ross, and I'm going to walk you through some of the Wordsmith functionality and show you what it can do. So let's start by logging in. Here, we're going to take a commercial lease. And we're going to drop it in and ask Wordsmith to just do something simple and review some of the commercial terms and put them into a table format. You just can type in whatever you would like, or you can click on some of the suggested directions that we put above it. Wordsmith has advanced document support. So it's going to start by analyzing those points, and you can see an embedded version of anything that you drop alongside. Here we can see our entire lease agreement with nice high performance. Now, Wordsmith is going to go through and it is going to embed citations alongside all of the points that it's made. This helps you understand where it's getting its points from, and it helps you check things if you want to go into more detail. So here, I'm going to go and have a look and dig into the rent point. It's 12,000 pounds an annum. If I click on that, it'll go to the very relevant section that sits within the document and help me navigate through hundreds of pages that would otherwise be quite frustrating to dig through. Let's try another workflow. So here we're going to take a cease and desist letter in German. We're going to click on the translation button and Wordsmith is going to start translating it. If we click on the document, you'll be able to see this is the German document um, that has been dropped in. And Wordsmith has now gone through, kept the formatting, interacted with Deeple, a translation service, and helped us to translate and keep the formatting, putting it in English. This is really helpful for cross-jurisdictional legal teams. Let's try another workflow. Here I'm taking two terms of service, two different versions. Wordsmith has the ability to save prompts that you've written in the past. This is a document comparison prompt, asking it to give us a table, showing us the difference between the two agreements, and then to produce a comparison markup. It's done exactly as we asked. It's showed us the key sections. It showed us the first version and then the second version. And now it's producing a marked up comparison between those two agreements that we can drop into and have a look at in DocX. The great thing about Wordsmith's advanced document support is it'll mark it up in a way that keeps the formatting and makes it really easy for you to accept or reject any of the track changes. Let's try something else. So now we're going to ask Wordsmith to please review the second turn of that SAS agreement. So this is something from earlier in the conversation. And we're going to ask it to redline the agreement. Wordsmith has been configured with an advanced ability to understand legal concepts and then to modify and mark up contracts. Here it's taking one of our global playbooks on a SAS agreement. You can tailor and edit these to your organization. And it's applying those checks to this contract. It's spun up 50 different agents that are going through and each one of them is checking their individual point to make sure that it's looked at. And as they come to a conclusion, they're telling you whether it is an issue or whether it's okay. And as those results come in, you can see them on the right-hand side. It puts all the key points and terms in front of you, so you get a nice way to orientate around the agreement. And if you want more detail on any point, you just click on it, and it will explain to you how it got to that conclusion and what bit of the agreement it's using or what multiple bits of the agreement to draw that. I've just clicked on an auto-suggest below, and Wordsmith now drafted a follow-up email to the counterparty asking them to remove some of these late payment terms. So these helpers exist and are just naturally proposed to you. If you look at the top right, Wordsmith is now generating a red line of the entire document. We can go into that and you can see in Word we will have a marked up version of the agreement fixing all of the minor issues that it picked up. It'll do that in your name, and it will put comments alongside to the counterparty explaining why these things need to be made. That makes it really easy for you to drop in, edit, reject, and then send it out. Let's try something else. I'm going to go and take a copy of our privacy policy or a link to it off our website, and we're going to start to try and fix a common problem, which is to prepare some sales enablement material for questions that we frequently get asked about vendor agreements and all sorts of reviews. So I've asked Wordsmith to draft a sales Q&A and look at the internet at our privacy policy. It's downloaded the privacy policy and it's drafting a set of questions and answers that it thinks a common salesperson might ask about our policy. 
It's taken inspiration from our policy, put it together, and with one click, you can export that to Microsoft Word. We are now going to switch into a vendor assistant. Assistants are places where Wordsmith only has access to specific information. The vendor assistant helps us to answer privacy questionnaires and RFPs. I'm going to drop that new document in so it now has learnt about the FAQ that I put together. I'm going to drop some questions in from a vendor and ask Wordsmith to answer those questions. We can have a quick look at the document. We can see here's a list of a few questions that we were sent by a third party. It's now going to go through, check its knowledge based, put together specific answers that we can then just send out. This speeds up hours and hours of repetitively answering the same thing. So that's helpful for us, but wouldn't it be really helpful if other people in the business could have access to it? If they could come in and they could see the source documentation, if they could get through these answers. Wordsmith has advanced sharing, so you can share it with individual users or groups, but you can also connect it to Slack. This is fantastic because you meet the business where it is. So here I've connected that workspace to Slack. You can ask it what type of personal data does Wordsmith share or any other question that it can answer. The assistant will pick up the question, draft a response, and then send it to whoever in the team asked it in their workflow. They don't have to go and check Notion or Google, both of which we integrate with as well. Now, if you don't like that answer, you can dip in. In one click, you can edit the response as an admin in Slack, and you can save that for future. So it's really easy for the legal team to supervise and improve the quality of the answers over time if their knowledge isn't that great. You can also offer the rest of the business the ability to do simple workflows. Here, I'm going to offer the ability to review a mutual NDA, perhaps to somebody in procurement or finance. They drop it into Slack, they just ask for some help, Wordsmith will pick it up, identify it, and then start triggering a review. The key thing with Wordsmith is it meets the business where it works, and it makes it really easy for you to speed up not just the legal and compliance team, but everybody that they interact with.